G'day guys, Shane here. Welcome to another Three Minute Thursday. I know that you're not a huge fan of the edits, uh, the Snapseed editing that I've been doing, but the photo that we're doing today has had some pretty good reach all over social media, over different groups, and a lot of people have asked, how did you do that? So I'm going to do another edit this Thursday, and uh, you guys will probably enjoy it. It's a pretty cool before and after sort of a photo, um, so let's get into it. All right, let's open up the image in Snapseed. Then we'll go straight into Tools and we'll go to Tune Image. What we're looking for here is probably a bit more contrast between the, the tractor and the sky. So we might increase the contrast a bit here. All the things that we do here, for the, or certainly for the most part, we'll do it in minor adjustments here. So we're increasing the brightness in the ambience. And the highlights, what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the clouds behind the tractor and I want a little bit of detail in that cloud there. So if we reduce the highlights, the clouds will show up just that little bit more. Increase the shadows so that around the tractor we can see a little bit more detail in underneath the vehicle. Let's go back into tools now. And we're going to use the curves tool here. Some of these uh, default or settings here with the curves are pretty cool. Um, I like the F01 for this particular one. We'll go straight into the channels and you can change the individual colors here, which is how we get that nice pink sky. So what I do on the histogram here is I put extra dots on the peaks and on the troughs so that I can increase the peaks more, increase the troughs a little bit more, or uh, not quite as high as the peaks. It'll give us this nice um, pink color all across the image. Happy with that. Go and look at the white balance now. We'll increase the temperature and we'll probably increase the tint a little bit towards the magenta side as well. Mainly looking up at the sky here, the top part of the sky, to see if we can get a bit of a purple look to it. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. Hit the tick, go back into tools. And now we're using the select tool. We're going to use this select tool pretty extensively on this photo. We'll get it right the first couple of times and then we'll copy that that selection and we'll paste it elsewhere on the image. Once we've got the brightness, the contrast, the saturation and the structure where I want it, I'll use the two finger gesture and bring it into a smaller circle so I'm not, in, not uh, impacting the whole image there. Once you do that, you can hold your finger on that selection, hit copy, and then paste that same selection anywhere else on the image, and it makes it a lot quicker to do the edit. And we'll put this around the image a couple of times. Up in the sky though, I want a bit more contrast, so a bit more of that purple, if you like, towards the top of the image here. So I'll use a lot more contrast up here. We'll copy that one and we'll put it onto the opposite side of the image so the sky looks even all the way across. With reflection photos, it's really important to do the water as well so that it looks natural. And we'll do that a couple of times there and I think you'll agree, that looks pretty good. So we'll hit the tick there, go back into tools and we will do some rotating, because I didn't quite get this straight when I took the image. Once that's happy, I'm going to use this photo for Instagram, and so we'll go to the one-to-one -one, uh, ratio there, just a the square. And we're done. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next week.